Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at different approaches to responsive header design with Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. Designing your headers for smaller screens such as tablets and phones can be simple or challenging depending on the header layout and the amount of content you have. But with Avada, there are many strategies you can employ to create successful headers for any screen size. Let's have a look at a number of pre-builds to go over some of the different strategies available. Let's start with what is the simplest strategy that also uses minimal content in the header. This is simply to have a logo and a mobile menu on all screen sizes. Examples of this are the Barber pre-built, the Photography Light pre-built, and the Music pre-built. If we look at the Barber pre-built, there is also a WooCommerce cart icon next to the main hamburger menu icon, but there is ample room on all screen sizes for the content to stay as it is. But even here there are responsive options at play. Here the designer has in fact used different column sizes on all three different screen sizes, which has the effect of controlling the size of the logo, as it is an SVG logo and can scale without loss of quality. Other pre-builds take a different approach. The e-bike pre-built, for example, uses two containers for large screens and another one entirely for smaller screens, using conditional rendering to control which ones get used where. This approach can also be seen on the energy pre-built. Here we can see the header container that renders on desktop devices via device type rendering logic, and if we switch over to medium screens, we can see that header container that renders on tablets and phones is completely different. One of the most common approaches to responsive header design, however, is to have the main menu element collapsing to a mobile menu on either medium or small screens. This can be seen on many of the pre-builds, including the classic, restaurant, taxi, creative and wedding pre-builds, as well as many others. This is a solid strategy and works in almost all situations. Here on the wedding pre-built, the header is in fact at the bottom of the screen, due to a full screen of art slider being added above it in the page options, but only on large screens. When we move to medium screens and below, the header is back at the top and the menu has reduced to a mobile menu instead. This approach can also be taken with side headers. Pre-builds like Cafe, Agency and Resume do this, with a side header on desktop reverting to a top iconized header on smaller screens. This is achieved by setting the header position to left in the layout section options of the header layout section and setting the side header breakpoint to medium. So when we come down to medium screens, the header reverts to the top, and via the menu element, the mobile breakpoint set on the mobile tab kicks in, and the menu collapses to a mobile menu. A more complex strategy that generally also includes this method is when items progressively disappear as the screen size gets smaller, and potentially also change size and order. A couple of examples of this are the financial advisor, pet supplies, and retro pre-builds. If we look at the retro pre-build as an example, we can see that on desktop, there is only one header, with five separate elements visible. But as we move to medium screens, there are now only three, and on small screens, just two. Finally, another great strategy which is also seen on the retro pre-built, as well as on quite a few of the more recent pre-builds, is the use of an off-canvas to use as the primary navigation in responsive situations. This approach can be found on the investment, corporation, business and magazine pre-builds, just to name a few. Here on the magazine pre-built, for example, on large screens there is a main menu and an icon triggering an off-canvas as well. But when we view the site on a smaller screen, the main menu disappears and the off-canvas now also acts as the main navigation. That's very clever indeed. The content in your header will best determine which of these strategies to use for successful responsive design. Pick and choose amongst the various strategies to find something perfect for your site. OK, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments how you have approached this topic. Perhaps you have employed a different strategy entirely for your responsive headers. OK, this concludes our video on different approaches to responsive header design with Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.